Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game we're playing some Lysandra in the mid lane. So let's go ahead here and grab ourselves a Doran's Ring, two health potions, and the warding trinket and head on to lane. And it's looking like on our team here today guys, we have uh, Capricorio playing Amumu in the jungle, Jamaris playing Scion in the top lane, Trixie Dash playing Ash AD carry, and then Hyam Single 1-2-3 playing Leona in the supporter role. And it's, this guy's just talking about, I guess, played some games with them before. Not totally sure. What the what they're talking about? I'm kind of just glancing at what they're saying. I'm not totally looking at it. And it looks like on their team, they're we're against they trundle the top lane, blitzcrank support, poppy in the jungle, a bit of a trolly, just a somewhat troll pick, but sort of works at the same time. Uh, Draven AD carry and Zed in the mid lane, so Zed will be our lane opponent. And in this lane, I actually have a huge advantage over Zed, and that's the fact that uh, not only am I ranged against him being melee, so I have that advantage of just the extra range. But with my W, I have a huge amount of disengage if he ever gets into melee range. So all he can really do is poke at me. Because if he ever wants to go in, I snare him up and then just completely destroy him. And of course, with my ult, um, if I use it on a, as a self-cast, which I need to practice a little bit. I'll admit, I'm not very good at that. A lot of the time when I'm wanting to ult myself, I end up clicking on an opponent and it's ulting them and stunning them and all. Which, I mean, <laughs> isn't all bad, but when you want to self-cast and you don't, it can kind of get you killed. And if you combine your self-cast with Zonia's, you have a really long... Um, and vulnerability time, which is really nice with the Sandra, so I'll try and do that a little bit, but yeah, we're definitely against the Zed this lane, so just gonna auto him a little bit here and there when I can. And there's first minion there. And I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'm gonna miss that one, but I managed to get a lot of damage on Zed in return for missing that minion, so that's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. But I'm gonna angle myself so that not only will he have to hit minions first to hit me with the Shuriken, but uh, I'll also be positioned to use his minions to increase the range on my Q. Like that, and it gets, ooh, not quite hitting him, but close to hitting him with that. And use, utilizing my passive to make sure I don't lose too much mana. Get my W level 2 in case he goes on with his, with his uh, shadow. That's not gonna quite hit him. Alright, his shuriken is down. And that's gonna do some damage to him? Nope, not quite. I'm just barely out of range. But yeah, so I don't know. When I hit level 6, maybe I'll mess up a few times with the whole uh, self um, ulting, but I'll try my best to not mess it up. Because if I do manage to do it well, I can dodge his Darth Mark with being our targetable. Kind of like Zonia's, right? So it's pretty awesome. No so it's a really good matchup for me in this lane, as long as I play it right. And that was a terrible Q. But yeah, I think this is the... Uh, What's this skin called? I actually can't remember what it's called. It's something Blade, but it's a cool skin. I actually like it a lot, quite a bit. I'd say I like it more than the other one she has, which is uh, Red something. I can't totally remember what it's called. <laughs> but I, I like this one, though, for sure. Definitely better than the other one. The one thing I do find really interesting with it, though, is when you use your W, it has like this weird sort of clockwork kind of sound. I'm not totally sure how to describe it, but you guys will hear it when I use that ability. You can also avoid his shadow, so I don't get hit by the E. Yeah, so far 20 CS, he's sitting at 17, so I'm beating him just by a bit, which is good. And didn't quite hit him with that, actually, but my pass is coming up here in a second, so I'll be able to get a free spell off. And I recommend you try to always use your Q for the free spell, because the other abilities don't cost nearly that much mana. I mean, your E costs a bit, but uh, your W doesn't cost very much. So in comparison to your W, definitely try to use your passive for your Q. It's, yeah, 85 mana. It's freaking ridiculous. Oh, man, I missed that. Battle come and go. How many health bosses he got? Two. Okay, so he's still got plenty of sustain left. I'm not going to hit him with that. Alright, looks like I'm moving once to gank. I'm trying to miss minions, but I'm missing a few here and there. What I might do is I might go for a flash snare here when I'm Mumu is ready to go. And that's going to be the chain CC on this guy. Alright, there goes his flash. Didn't quite get him, but we got very close and forced him back to base at least. See, I could have used my E to initiate there, but it takes a bit of a time to go off and Zeds can react pretty quickly to that sort of thing with their shadow. So I decided just to flash in to make sure we would definitely get that snare on him. Which, unfortunately, he still managed to get away because I'm out of damage, but we managed to get his flash out and Mumu almost managed to help me kill him, so that's pretty good. It's not great, but it's definitely pretty good for us. So for my first item, I'm going to be getting a Seeker's Arm Guard, just for the extra defenses and AP, of course. And that will lead towards my Zonias, which will give me that invulnerability, which is as 
which is pretty good, like I mentioned earlier. And I'll also grab two health po or uh, two mana potions because I did not get any mana regen in my items, so I'm gonna need that. In the meantime, may as well check a bot lane a little bit. Looks like Leona's not quite gonna kill Draven. Very close. The CS looks like it's 26 to 18, so our Ash is a little bit behind, but that's all right. That's kind of expected in a Draven lane because Draven's just so dominant in lane. Yeah, it looks like top lane's doing just fine. So, so far a bit of a slow game so far, but not much we can really do about that. There's some nice damage on Zed. You know, Lissandra tops has been really popular recently, and I think she's definitely better as a top laner right now compared to a mid laner just because of how she provides. But with that said, I still prefer playing her mid just because I can do more as a mid laner. But yeah, Zed's gonna take a lot of damage here because he used his shadow at a bad time. We're not quite gonna kill him though, but I'm getting some extra autos in there. If I was level six, he would be dead for sure, but he wasn't wasn't quite level six. But yeah, Mumu also missed his bandage toss there, and if he hit that, that would have been a dead Zed. Oops, not quite enough damage. Here's my last mana potion here as well. Clear out all of that. Now let's see, Trundle's in a place that I might be able to come up to help. So I'm gonna run on up and try to help. Because yeah, Sion's so tanky, he can probably just waddle on out. But if I can get there, I might be able to help him kill maybe Poppy or something, because Poppy's only level 4. So yeah, if Sion keep them interested until I get there, this will be really good for us. Where are you going, Poppy? Come on. Oh my god, they're so low. I don't quite do enough damage. That sucks. Close. Not quite, though. Not quite. Oh, and Sion's teleporting to the tower. Not quite have damage again. Alright, so I'll just snare Zed and walk on out. He's not gonna be able to kill me. That's where the W's coming in handy. Why I really like it against Zed, because if he ever goes on me, I can just snare him and walk on away. And if he doesn't, and if he doesn't have his extra shadow with his W, there's no way of him keeping up with me. So I'll pick up my Seeker's Arm Guard now. It's really a shame I didn't get any kills there, because I was really close to killing Poppy. And I don't think I would have had the damage or the mana to take out um, Trundle, so that's why I didn't go for him. So I'm really gonna need blue buff. So yeah, I'll return mid here to push up the wave a little bit, and then I'll try and get blue buff, because that'll really help me out. Sit at 50 CS at just over 8 minutes. It's not great, but because we roamed, we did fall a bit behind, but we were, we were doing pretty well. We are beating Zed by 11 as well, which is, of course, very good for us. Looks like some kills going on bot lane. Can Ash live? It looks like she probably will. There's a double kill coming in. Looks like she did actually die in the end. But a double kill going on bot lane, so nice stuff. Oopsies. Quit all those minions. Do you want to dance, Zed? So I thought... Alright, well, I'm going to go place this pink warden now. It uh, looks like we already have one here, so what I'll do instead is actually play on the other side. Use a shadow there. That was strange. Ooh, not quite. Alright, I'm going to come over here and get this, get this blue buff. See, so yeah, I'll place my pink in here. It's a nice spot. Defensive pink ward. And auto and Q. There we go. Thank you, Mumu. That's going to help me out actually a lot, because it's going to allow me to spam my Qs. And they have a high mana cost, as you can see, so being able to spam without using my passive is going to be really nice. Damn, didn't quite do enough damage. Alright, and if Mumu comes in, this guy's very dead. How is he a higher level than me, actually? I'm surprised that, to see that. Alright, Zed. Yeah, he's gets that stage where his shurikens are starting to really hurt. There's some nice damage, though. The thing is with Zed is if he ever goes on me, I have my alt and my W to disengage, so I'm in a really safe spot. And Hello. He just wasted his shadow, so he's very dead. Yeah, he messed up really hard there, using his shadow at a really bad time. Without that escape, he's very easy for me to take out and just burst down with literally everything. So that worked out really great for me. And it also managed to catch me up in XP, which I really wanted to do as well. This Poppy's kind of low. Can I get damage on her? No, not quite. 
but I'll push everything I got because I really want to make Zed as miss, as miss as many minions as I possibly can. There we go, I'm making a miss more. And I'm actually going to run bot lane because I think I might be able to make something happen because Leona has so much crowd control that will allow me to get a lot of spell rotations off. So he might be able to get something done once I come down. If she's using everything now, a little premature because I'm not quite there yet. So yeah, very premature, but... Oh yeah, that's... <laughs> no, Mumu play is not going to quite work. Okay, yeah, it looks like... Too soon there, Leona. Yeah, I wasn't even close to being there yet, so that's not going to work. But we can probably do Dragon because Poppy's just doing red. Oh, that was out of range. <laughs> Got knocked back by the dragon and kind of delayed me using my W sooner. Yeah, we can definitely do this dragon. And I'm actually going to go help Leon over here. Never mind, I don't need to. Alright, I got the snare on this guy. Oh, I thought he was going to shadow sooner. Oh my god, the Mumu ult missing. Oh, here's the arrow. Very nice. And Ash should be able to get the kill. Very nice. Alright. Oh, he flashed it. Alright, I got my free spell here. Let's get him. There we go. Don't really have any mana to do anything besides just walk, so... I guess they're getting away, but we managed to get the better end of that. We got the dragon. We managed to get a few kills as well. I didn't get any, but we, as a team, we got some. So that's good. So I'll go back to base now. Pick up my needlessly large rod towards my Zoni's hourglass. Please don't scumbag me. You're gonna scumbag me, you bastard. I should probably backed off, because I should have expected that, but... I really thought he was just going to be nice and let me go, but he didn't. Oh, come on, Blitzcrank, go away. I don't have any mana for my spells. Okay, he's going to kill that minion, and then I'll clear this. Alright, now I'm going to go back to base. Go away, Blitzcrank, for crying out loud, man. What are you still doing here? Just being a nuisance. Yeah, Mooma needs to hold mid for me, man. That's what definitely needs to happen here. So pick up this towards my Zonias. Grab some health potions. Grab my got another pink. Actually, no, my pink's still there. Never mind. Don't need to do that. All right, just want to get as much mana as I could before doing that. And a moment's doing a pretty good job actually staying healthy and keeping them off the turret. So that's good. So when I get there, if Mumu has his ult by then, we can definitely go for a combo here. But I don't think he's gonna have it by then. But Leona does, and she looks like she's interested. So yeah, let's do this. Oh, there we go. Very nice crowd control coming out. There we go. Only gonna pick up the kill there. I'll dodge. Oh, they couldn't quite dodge it. Damn. It's a shame. I really wanted that kill too, but I didn't quite get it. Got some damage on the Draven there at least. I probably should let Leona get that with the Targans, but that's alright. You'll notice here maxing Q though, because it's obviously the best spell in her uh, uh, in her kit just to do damage in general but the reason I'm maxing w seconds because it's aoe and it's i like it using it uh for the damage and wave clear and stuff whereas your ef it's mostly utility of just it can do damage of course it's not like it doesn't do damage but i prefer to use it as going in or going out if that makes sense otherwise i feel like it's really risky to use it for damage so that's why i like to hold on to it all right i'm just gonna get out of here before they kill me or anything. So I'll base here actually, because I feel like I have enough time to base before the minion wave comes. So I'll pick up my Zonias and my boots as well. And I don't know if they're gonna get the Trundle here. They they try though. And they did get him. Nice job. Pick up my health potions. And head on out. So it looks like my lane's going up there. I don't think Zed's gonna be able to do anything though. He's just gonna waddle around, so we're in a good spot here. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention here while nothing's going on is I just uploaded a Pokemon video, so if you guys want to check out part 11 of my Pokemon Omega Ruby playthrough, um, make sure to check it out. If you're not familiar with it, it's just simply a playthrough of Pokemon Omega Ruby on my extra channel, so links to that will be in the description below. Uh, the series has gone really well so far. People are liking it a lot, at least those who are watching. If you're not familiar with it or haven't seen any of those episodes yet, I recommend you at least give them a try in case you might like them, because you might not like Pokemon, but if you enjoy my videos, you might like them regardless, so I'd appreciate you guys giving them a chance. And, uh, actually, I'm going to do blue buff here. I'm going to ask for help, see if someone wants to help me with this. Uh, looks like no one's coming down, so it looks like I'm on my own. I'm definitely going to lose some health doing this. I'm going to try to kite it out as best as I can to avoid damage. 
The thing is, though, is they reduce the amount of resets you can do on a buff, so I gotta be careful not to reset it. Alright, looks like I got it. I didn't lose that much health, too, so that's good. And Dragon's up in just under two minutes here, so we kind of want to put some pressure bot lane. Just prepare for that. Uh, looks like Poppy's going down as well, but I don't think they're really in that much trouble. Actually, yeah, the second half of that Draven ulti did hit him, so yeah. Ash is going to be trouble there, but I'm going to come mid down here. I'm going to try and help. Looks like Zed doesn't want to have any part of that. Yeah, I don't think I can help this. Yeah, Leona's very dead. Yeah, I can't save her in that. I don't have a ward here. Okay, I'm going to put a ward on Dragon. Alright, I'll just clear out mid for the time being. Alright, yeah, Lissandra has such great wave clear. So, I was mentioning earlier how Lissandra is actually a pretty good top laner. A recent feed for that, if, in case you weren't, if you were wondering. Uh, as a top laner, I mentioned this in my last video, and I'll kind of mention my last video a little bit too, so some things I wanted to mention about it, because there are a lot of comments that were very uh, interesting. Let's use that word. So, um, first things first, as a top laner, one of the most important things is wave clear. And the reason I say wave clear is because to make use of teleport, you need to be able to split. And if you are trying to split push, but you're wave clearing really slowly, it, you're not going to get very much done, you know what I mean? Which is why wave clear is a really important statistic. So champions need to have some sort of AoE or need to build items that give them some sort of AoE pretty early, right? That's one of the most important things. And Lissandra has literally AoE on all of her abilities. So she's great for that. And I'm going to run down and try and help. The next important thing is to have crowd control. Because as a top lane, you're supposed to set up kills for your team. And... You know, Lissandra can do that. She's got crowd control on literally all of her spells, again, except for her E, which is just utility, which is still good. Just, it's not crowd control. Slow on her Q, uh, snare on her W, stun on her alt. It's, it's great stuff. And it slows other targets as well in the area, so. Yeah, very good spell. I'm going to go mid here and try and take out this Z, because I'm pretty sure I can. There we go. So I managed to do the flash snare trick to make sure he couldn't dodge my other spells. And then from there, I just chained everything else into him. My ignite, my alt, and everything, and just took him out. It looks like there's a fight going on over here. I'm going to try and help out. Although, I don't really think they need me, so... Yeah, never mind. I'm going to come over here and do dragon. Because it looks like... Ooh. Draven is chasing Leona again. Is he still chasing her? Oh, Blitzcrank's here. I'm coming. Where are you going, Blitzcrank? Where are you going? If Leona gets some crowd control on him, I can... Ooh, the arrow out of nowhere. I love it. Very nice arrow. Holy. The snipes are real. Alright, so I'll clear out all of that and head on down. And uh, the third statistic that's, I wouldn't say essential, but it's pretty important as a top laner, is being able to take damage. And what I mean by this is being tanky, right? But being tanky is not just one statistic if you know health and resists. That's not the only important statistic there is to being a good tank. A Lissandra can be a great tank because of her ability to refocus the damage with her ultimate. So with her ultimate, she's able to go in and make everyone want to kill her. And yet, she can then completely cancel out their focus. And I actually need to be careful here because I'm out of mana. But yeah, with her ultimate, she's able to completely separate people's focus. And just get the dragon. Okay, good. I'm going to leave Mumu to die because I don't think I have any way of helping him. Actually, but Leona does. So that's good. But yeah, I need to leave. There's no way of me helping there. I have no mana. But we managed to get dragon. It was a very risky call, but we went for it and it worked. So that's fine. So I'm at the base here. So being able to take damage is really important. That's why champions like Lissandra are good because she can go in and then she can completely change the focus of their... Oopsies, I'm going to get out of here. She can completely change their focus with her ultimate because she can go untargetable, right? Which is really important. Uh, Scion, he's a great top laner because he's just so bloody tanky that people, you know, don't want to focus him because he's tanky. But at the same time, they kind of have to because he's got a really great way of just completely destroying a backline with his ultimate and all the CC he provides and all that. And I think for my next time, I'm going to get him all his Omicron straight up because I really want that mana regen and the cooldown's really nice as well. The pink ward's still there. I'll grab a green ward and a health potion. Other good top laners, of course, uh, Rumble, he's great because he has the Zonia's ability just like Lissandra with, you know, her ultimate, but he also has that shield, and he's tanky naturally, so he's great top laner. Uh, Irelia, also great top laner, she's tanky naturally, 
and has a lot of ways of healing herself, which is really important to keep herself alive, but keep people wanting to kill her because she has just damage and she's scary, <laughs> right? There's other examples of great top laners. Maokai, another good one because he pretty much destroys your backline with the ability to crowd control so many people at once with his Q and all that. And that kind of comes back to Gangplank because in my last video I was explaining that I didn't really like him and there's a lot of negative feedback and I admit that my that video wasn't very great and I wasn't exactly proud of it but I really wanted to get a Gangplank video out of some sort and that was one of the better ones I had. And I'm going to go over the wall here and try to take out this guy. There we go, just completely blow him up. <laughs> It wasn't necessary, but I really wanted to do it just just to see how much damage I could do, and that was a lot of damage. And I would love this. I need blue. Can I have this one? No. Take hours. All right, I'll just help with this one then. He. Oh wow. Wow. He didn't smite it at the right time. Jesus, man. All right. Well, at least I still get hours. <laughs> I still get ours, right? <laughs> Oopsies, wrong way. Hand kind of slipped there and I managed to put my E the wrong way and missed that Q as well. That's embarrassing. Alrighty, so let's pick up this blue buff then. Yeah, I, I, I admit the Gangplank video wasn't my greatest work, but I really just want to get a Gangplank video out of some sort and that was the better one I got of the few like, games I did play. So I decided to roll with it. But uh, a few things I mentioned in that video that were true is I don't really enjoy Gangplank. And the reason for not enjoying him is simple. I just don't enjoy him. I don't find him very strong. I don't find him very fun. It's as simple as that. However, with that said, I don't think he's very strong. And this is a separate topic. I, th I don't think he's very strong because as a top laner, he's great late game because he can be somewhat tanky. And he can force people to want to you know attack him because he's, he's, he's fast. So he can get in and out of fights pretty easily. He doesn't have any you know dashes or teleports or anything like that but he has his high base speed with his E and his mobility and all that so that helps him get in and out of fights and his damage is pretty great so people want to focus him but before that all he really provides is a little bit of poke and a little bit of utility with his W and his E and a big AoE slow with his ult I mean it, I don't know it's just it's, it's kind of mediocre it's one of those champions that he scales pretty damn well I'll give you that but early game as a top laner he provides almost jack shit and that's why I'm not a huge fan of him. Alright, there should be a kill on Blitzcrank. Come on, Jamie, let's go, buddy. Alright, not a bad fight for us. Just went on in and just spam spells and watch people fall over. It's good stuff. <laughs> juking the wolf <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and clear out mid lane here and then I'll, what I'll do next is I will try and get some damage in the turret But I don't think we'll be able to take it out. Actually, maybe I will be able to. Let's see Oopsies, I missed the, missed the bush from crying out loud Alright, should be able to dodge some damage with that. Oh man, I couldn't use my E. I was trying to juke back to Scion, but that was probably a bad idea. I probably should have juked over to Leona. But I think they're gonna be able to clean up, because Scion just does so much damage while he's so freaking tanky. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I'm not very good at Scion, actually. I've been playing him a little bit here and there, but I'm not very good at him. I find his ultimate extremely awkward, but besides that, he's a very strong champion. It's quite ridiculous, really, how much damage he does when he's that tanky. So let's go ahead here next and pick up, uh, I'm thinking about Rabidon's next. I'm going to go with Needle Sludge Rod, and I think I'll get spell, spell Pen Boots as well. And yeah, I'll grab this. There we go. So yeah, Spell Pen Boots are going to help us a lot with our damage, because we have pretty high base damage actually with Lissandra. I'll go top and clear the farm as well. And actually, what? screw that. Considering Deathfire Grasp is going to be gone on the next patch, I'm going to get Deathfire Grasp this game because I really like Alessandra. It creates such great bursting opportunities because a lot of her damage it works really well with uh, DFG. So I'm going to do exactly that. And if I can tell right now, yeah, if I get DFG, I'll have 40% CDR without blue buff, and that'll be really nice. So I'm going to do that. See, I really, I'm going to miss that item, DFG. They're removing it because 
it creates a lot of imbalance amongst some champions like Ari, for example, which I sort of agree with, but at the same time, I mean, there's not it, it benefits so many champions that are kind of kind of need the item. So if they're gonna remove it, they need to buff a lot of champions like Vigar, for example, or um, they're gonna buff Ari apparently, so that's gonna be good. Uh, Syndra, I don't think they're gonna buff her. She's fine without it, but it was an item I really enjoyed on her, so I'm gonna miss it on her. There's other examples, of course, but those are the first ones that come to mind. And if I get to this team fight, it's gonna be really great because they're grouped up for me. And Scion's going on in, so I feel like we might be able to do something here because if they're all focusing Scion right now. And there's the self cast ulti coming on out. And the Scion passive proven it's, it's worth. Oh, Zed's coming in. Alright, I stole my Zonian, so I'm going to have to hold on to that because he's going to go for me for sure. No doubt about that. Ooh. Can I get away from this guy? Nah, not quite. Damn. Leona might be able to clean him up. Yeah, that was not very good by me, though. I went a bit of the wrong way there that I should have gone. I should have kind of kept my distance bit from Trundle a bit better, but it's alright. We still managed to win that for sure. When we had a huge disadvantage at the start of that fight. So, I got my DFG now, which is going to help a lot. Maxed. What? Not max CDR. I thought that gave me 15. Oh, it's only 10%. Never mind. My bad. I thought it was 15% for some reason. Now I think about it, that seems ridiculous. But yeah, 35% is still perfectly fine. I'm going to sell my Doran's Ring as well and pick up a blasting one towards Rabadon's. Or maybe even Void Staff. I still have to decide what I want to do with that. Yeah, this game's going really well for us, actually. 200, almost 10 farm at 27 minutes. It's not great by any means, but considering all the roaming and farming we're, or and, uh, assassinating we're doing, I'm totally okay with it. But at this point, I should be able to just uh, close the gap with my E, and then from there, DFG and combo my spells and just destroy pretty much anyone I choose. Uh, I'll obviously not be focusing Trundle, though, because he's not that big of a threat. I'll probably be focusing uh, this Draven, because this Zed kind of blows. I mean, I don't know. He's not that bad, but he's having a really rough game, and I don't someone consider him a threat, so... I'll probably be focusing Draven. Just gonna ask Amuma for help with this if he's willing to help me out. Solo it. All right, I'll solo it. I'd really rather not, so I don't have to take damage because I don't have any health pots. But fine, fine. You don't care about that. You don't care about my health that much. That's fine. Actually, I didn't take that much damage. Once again, it's fine. Alrighty, so let's see. Can we assassinate the Draven? I feel like we can if we just get the right angle, but we gotta keep in mind that we don't have that much vision. Let me get my pink in here, actually. It's a good spot for Baron control. And it looks like Scion's ulting in. Oh, they're going for a play on the Zed, apparently. The 08 Zed. Is he gonna be 09? And get this mini as well. Looks like Draven's. Oh, never mind. Oh, Blitz gonna pull me for sure. Yep, yeah, okay. Barely dodged it. Nice. Oh, here we go. That's a nice combo. Alright, Poppy. When is your ult gonna fade? Alright, oh, she put it on me. I forgot. <laughs> Quadra kill. Hell yeah, buddy. Let's go. The damage is real. <laughs> I completely forgot that she put the ult on me. I don't know why she focused me with it, because I do a lot more damage than anyone else on our team. But hey, I ain't complaining. I'm okay with that. I just don't understand it. and was completely not expecting that at all. And it looks like that's the Surrender Bell coming out here, guys. Hopefully you guys like this game, because I know I had a great time recording this one. And you know, that's one thing I actually mentioned in my last video that I want to touch on a little bit. I actually enjoyed playing Gangplank for those recordings, because when I ever record a game, I always make sure I'm enjoying myself, otherwise I just don't use the video at all. But sometimes when I'm recording games, and I stop enjoying myself, I'll completely turn off the recording. But that wasn't the case for this game. It hasn't been the case for any of the games you guys have seen me upload. It has been the case for some games that I've just completely thrown away, so... Just want to cover that because there was actually a few comments about that as well. So that's it here, guys. Hopefully you guys liked it. Make sure to leave a like rating if you did and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. This is a